Good afternoon, everyone. This is Lowell Moore, counselor with Florida Virtual School, and we want to welcome all of you this afternoon to another of our college admissions webinars. You have answered a good number of the questions that I had in the in the beginning, Andrew. I do want to ask, though, because I, I know that um, uh, that a good number of our participants in our college webinars are often homeschool students. I just wanted to ask um, uh, Andrew um, if you have any idea of, about the number of homeschoolers that were admitted last year and uh, who would a homeschool student contact for admissions information? I would actually be the point of contact. Uh, my email address is a t e l a t o at u w f dot e d u, and then my direct phone number is eight five zero four seven four two 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 five. And then um, as far as our numbers, last year we had uh, about 25 homeschool students who were admitted. And of that group of 25, 17 enrolled at the university in the fall semester. The, the uh, most popular major for, for freshmen is marine biology. Um, another one of our uh, uh, um, unique majors as well, I would say, would be uh, archaeology. Uh, when a student graduates from the University of West Florida, is there some type of uh, assistance for them as far as uh, job placement that is when a student you know when a student graduates uh, do most of your students actually obtain jobs in their field and and do you have um, uh, a way to help them in getting a job Our uh, Career Services Office does a great job in helping students with um, the, the job search. They don't have, per se, a job placement, um, but they do help students, again, with write, uh, writing their resume and, and uh, uh, mock interview sessions. And then they um, also have a, uh, a co-op uh, program as well for students to um, you know, get some job experience while they're uh, still a student at the university. Someone had asked about sports, and in particular, women's sports. I was going to ask you about the different types of sports uh, that you have there. You mentioned NCAA athletics. Uh, and um, uh, can you just give us a rundown of some of your NCAA sports, and in particular, then, sports that are available to uh, women? Yes, we have uh, 13 varsity sports, and again, we do compete in the NCAA Division II, and our conference is the Gulf South Conference. We have um, uh, six men's teams in basketball, baseball, cross country, golf, soccer, and tennis, and then seven women's sports in basketball, cross country, golf, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. That's great. And, and while we're talking about sports uh, as such, uh, someone asked if there is a program that would lead to some sort of degree in sports medicine. And you might be able to give us an idea, even if there's not a specific degree in that, how a, a student or what a student might major in in order to then uh, go into the field of sports medicine. Well, within our uh, Department of Health, Leisure, and Exercise Science, we do have uh, several specializations in that, in that area um, with the uh, areas of athletic training, uh, exer uh, exercise science, um, physical education, and uh, also a degree in sport management. So you have a good uh, sports uh, a good sports program. Um, also in the area of, of medicine and such, uh, do you have a, a nursing program or a program that would lead to someone obtaining a, a, a license as a registered nurse or a, a licensed practical nurse, an LPN? 
We do have a very good nursing program. It's uh, a, pro a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, um, as well as the RN to BSN Bridge program. Um, nursing is one of our, our limited access programs. They do have an application process in addition to the uh, admissions uh, application process um, where students uh, coming in as freshmen would be in a pre-nursing status and then applying to the nursing program uh, in the middle of their sophomore year. Uh, on a different type of subject, Another person had asked about the music program there at the University of West Florida. How involved uh, uh, are the uh, people in the music program? Not just degrees, but I mean, are there bands and orchestras and things like that? We definitely have a, a very nice music department with uh, a jazz band, symphonic orchestra, chorus. Uh, we've got a beautiful music hall in our Center for Fine Performing Arts, as well as a main stage theater uh, for uh, a lot of our um, uh, musical productions as well. Um, the Pace Scholar Award is the highest honor a freshman can receive at UWF. Um, and the amount of the scholarship is, is $20,000, which comes out to uh, $5,000 a year for four years. Uh, the scholarship also includes a uh, stipend of a $4,000 uh, um, amount for a summer experience trip that the students can go on, usually around their, their junior, between their junior and senior year. Um, the um, uh, process is uh, on, the web, on, the, on our website. There's an application to apply for the scholarship, and it looks at their um, academic uh, record of their GPA and, and coursework and test scores but also along the lines of, of what they've been involved in uh, outside of class with their activities and uh, their, um, how much leadership experience they've had in those activities uh, as well as their community service. And then we also look at the students' um, letters of recommendation and, and as well as an essay that they submit as part of the application process for the Peace Scholar Award. And that scholarship information is listed on our website as well as the, the application for that award. And it's the only scholarship that requires an addition, uh, additional application. Um, I, I just have two things. Uh, well, one is that you know, for students that are, are currently uh, seniors this year, we are still accepting applications for the fall term. Uh, but more importantly for everybody, we'd love to have you come visit UWF. I um, uh, wanted to mention that anybody who is um, free this Saturday, we do have a Saturday open house program uh, from uh, 9 to well, 1 o'clock on campus, as well as campus tours Monday through Friday at 9.30 and 12.30. And uh, just uh, love uh, looking forward to working with you, and um, I hope to see you guys on campus soon.